Welcome back everyone. Today we are going to really quickly discuss, I'm not going to beat around the bush here, but we are going to discuss Immutable X and what you need to have prepared before the Alluvium land sale. Now, this sort of stuff is really, really important. Otherwise you are going to get st stuck. You might be ending up like, oh, there's a really good price I want to buy. And all of a sudden there's like three or four steps you have to do. They don't take long, but if you have to do them in that moment, you may miss your opportunity to strike. So the last thing we want is that happening. And this is going to help prepare you for what you need to do before the land sale comes so that we can all get ready. Now, the first thing I'll preface with is there's a few really good articles. I will post them all in the description. There's even a couple more other than this. But um, this one in particular is probably a really good one. This one's from InfoLuvial. And this is going to discuss effectively exactly what I'm going to show you right now. But I'm going to demonstrate it for you, okay? So I'll leave all these links in the description down below. InfoLuvial and Allu Illuvial Master do very good jobs, very good articles. They have great teams with amazing people. So definitely go and check those websites out. Also, they feature me sometimes. So that's always nice. <laughs> I do really appreciate that. So definitely don't forget to like and subscribe so that you guys have all the information you need down the road as well. There's quite a few of these sorts of videos that are floating around. And I'm going to do the best to keep adding to this, okay? So the first thing we want to do is we want to go to the Immutable X website. Actually, there is one more important detail. Which wallet should you have? You have to have the MetaMask wallet, okay? The Immutable X Marketplace and Immutable X in general supports nothing else. It supports something called the Magic Wallet, which is their native wallet, and it supports MetaMask. So if you do not have the MetaMask wallet, you need to put all your funds on there before you get started and use MetaMask for this. Now, I will quickly show you. So if you've got your MetaMask here, let's pretend this is a different wallet, something like a Wallet Connect or something like that. You want to go and you want to send your funds to a different wallet. In this case, my MetaMask address is up here. So I'll click copy to clipboard, clipboard, as you can see there. Just left click that. In your other wallet, you will make sure you go to send. And then it'll usually have a really similar system. Okay, you'll have like a send functionality. You can do this from Binance or Coinbase or whatever as well. You go into your wallet tab and you'll go into whatever token you want to send. At Ethereum for the most part, you can't have SRV2 on a main exchange. You can swap that using your MetaMask later. Anyways. You would go to send and you would enter the address, okay? And it would say the assets and everything. On a centralized exchange, instead, you will also need to add the chain. Make sure it is the ERC20 chain. One more time, ERC20, okay? That is the Ethereum blockchain. If you send it on any other network, um, you can still find it in your MetaMask and recover those funds and things like that, unless it's Solana. MetaMask doesn't support Solana yet. Uh, but if you send it on like the smart chain or something, you can recover the funds, but you will have to do that first before you use them because they will be useless for the land sale and useless for IMX. So make sure you're sending over ERC20. Okay, let's get back to it. Again, it's not financial advice. You guys already know that by now. You go to Immutable X, you have your MetaMask ready. Um, I don't believe I've ever used this address with MetaMask, uh, with Immutable X before. So this should let me create an account from scratch. I'll click start trading. <clears throat> all right, you got all the different things that are currently on Immutable. I, I was around when Immutable first came into existence and had nothing on it. <laughs> Gods Unchained was, I think, one of the first things. Book Games was actually quite recent compared to some of these things. Anyways, you click, click Connect Wallet in the top right-hand corner. And then these are the few options. We have MetaMask Hardware Wallet. I didn't even know that was an option. Um, we could probably explore that today. I'll get my ledger set up in a minute but we'll explore the main MetaMask for now. Connect with email is creating that native magic wallet. Now, since MetaMask is used on the Illuvi Dex, you won't actually have access to that magic wallet when it comes to the Illuvi Dex, all right? So you cannot do this method. You have to have MetaMask anyway, all right? So you'll click MetaMask, then a little notification will pop up. Basically, you'll choose which, which wallet you're using. I'll choose my burner wallet. Connect it, great, and then we want to get started. Oh, this is behind my camera. We want to get started right at the bottom here, okay? Bring my camera back. All right, same thing. We're going through some MetaMask notifications next. Connect, all right, that's the first step. Again, this is really easy, really straightforward. Those articles will also help you. Sign in to give access, you click sign, and then I'll just sign the wallet. 
and it's setting up the immutable key. This is really important. You won't be able to access the immutable, the, the land sale and everything until you've done all these steps, until you've got your immutable X key. Set up key. Okay, sign. Set up complete. There you go. Registration on the wallet with immutable X has been completed. That's it. I have an immutable X wallet now. It's done. All right. That wallet is connected. You see how fast that was, guys? All right. The last thing we need to really discuss here is this button here. So in the balancer section, I hope I'm not going to confuse anyone with this, but pay attention really carefully. If you're not listening right now, um, then that's going to be a bit of trouble. But you have this deposit function. And you have Ethereum, you can put in Ethereum and things like that, okay? When you're using, all right, so you can see that now, I'm gonna to switch to my camera because this is really serious. When you're using the Immutable X Marketplace, you have to deposit your Ethereum from your MetaMask into the Immutable X wallet to use it, okay? Now, however, for the land sale, the actual purchasing gas fees and everything are on layer one. They have to be in your MetaMask wallet. I know it's a bit confusing. You have to link up your wallet to IMX, but you still have to use your MetaMask wallet on the land sale. It's a bit confusing. Do not transfer your funds. I don't even think you can transfer SILV2. Do not transfer your funds into your IMX wallet. Now, the only exception to this is if you're actually planning on buying on the secondary market, I believe you will need to transfer them to your IMX wallet. That's what the InfoLuvial article says anyway. You will need them on the IMX wallet to transact on the secondary market, but for the Dutch auction and the prices falling and that whole setup, you will need them in your MetaMask wallet. Okay, so I hope that's really helpful for you guys. Let's quickly have a look at the other option here. Hopefully I can disconnect wallet. Click connect wallet, hopefully it doesn't auto connect. Perfect, all right. So let's do MetaMask hardware wallet and see what happens. So I just went out, I disconnected it, and now I'm going to hardware wallet. Upgraded to firmware something something for it to be generated connect correctly. All right, I think all my firmware and everything's okay. Get started. I guess I'll select the correct account. Um, I'm gonna make sure to plug in my ledger really quickly. I'm sorry about this, guys. Go. Get a sign in. <laughs> I actually quite like using the ledger. Obviously, I'm not going to show you guys my pin. That would suck. All right, I'm actually going to activate the Ethereum application on my hardware wallet as well. So I'll go next on that. Connect. All right, sign to give it access. I guess really the only big difference here is that it's the exact same process, except now it knows you're using a hardware wallet. So it's going to ask you to sign. Um, for the most part on your hardware wallet. We'll see. So currently I click sign here. Um, and now it's popped up on my hardware wallet asking me to sign the message. I've just signed it just then. And there, now that's connected as well. So that is really the only difference between the two. It's pretty much the same process. I figure if I probably just clicked use MetaMask on the hardware one anyways, it might have still worked. I can't tell you guys, <laughs> apologies. But I hope that's really helpful guys. Don't forget, you need your funds in your MetaMask wallet. Do not put them in your Immutable X wallet unless you are trading on the secondary marketplace. Have a really good day, guys. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I am running for council. Please go and vote. Just vote for someone. Try and get someone new in the council. I really, really appreciate it. The entire community appreciates it. This council is one of the best parts of Alluvium and of Web3 in general. Um, and you guys, I, I definitely hope you guys are supporting it. So thank you for that. Have a good day, everyone. Thanks for watching the video guys and don't forget to watch this next video down there in the bottom left hand wait it's doing that thing again wait it's happening again oh, crap ma happened again